I gave myself the assignment of picking one Matisse to talk about and very soon came up with the idea of doing four aspects of one Matisse. That gave me a real chance to, to think more about that one picture and particularly to focus a little bit on Matisse's process. So to try to learn something about how he worked. And I picked a picture, the yellow dress, which is a picture in transition. It's really showing Matisse struggling. So if you look down at the signature, you'll see that it says Henri Matisse, 1929 to 31. So that indicates that he either worked on it a lot or he started it and stopped. And that's in fact the case. He did start it and stop. And a lot of things intervened in his life. He came to the United States for the first time. He got the commission for the Barnes mural in Philadelphia. He went to the Carnegie to jury a show and he went to Tahiti, which was a totally different kind of experience for him. And he would write about how it, it enabled him to have a fresh vision. So he started the painting in 29 and almost immediately decided that it wasn't really going in the direction that he wanted. It definitely didn't look like the painting looks today. But when we look at it now, we can see some evidence that he was struggling or changing his mind, that in a way the picture looks like it's evolved. I think the figure looks like she's a plant and she grew taller and taller till she almost occupies the whole picture. Often Matisse will have a figure in smaller scale that sometimes gets lost in all the decoration around. But in this case, you really feel like she's taken control of the whole picture. Then the other thing is we actually look at the strokes, particularly on the figure, you can see that they're a little bit tentative or that you can see evidence of things that were going on underneath what you see. So he might have taken the brush and sort of scumbled something out. He changed the position of the ribbons on the dress. He changed the position of the arms and the hands. And after he'd gotten things in a new position, he pointed them out to us by taking a brush with black paint, almost like it was drawing, and he outlined these things to kind of let you know that they were moving around and now they've been captured and they're held in place. 